Mommy. How's it? I'm Kurt from Studio 22. Uh, if you watch a lot of vlogs, you'll know that um, it's popular to be on a skateboard, a boosted board, or a one-wheeler. Um, I will have to make do with my four-wheeler. So this is it. In a previous vlog, I was mentioning how uh, myself um, and my wife were going to a business coaching session, or we're you know, in the process of a business coaching session. And uh, one thing that uh, was made quite clear is that my entire life is Studio 22. Uh, everything I do, it's difficult for me to separate my private life, my personal life, from what to me is Studio 22. So I decided to, well, it was decided for me that I need to get a life. Uh, so, yeah, I guess uh, that the reason the previous clip was uh, maybe not so business orientated and um, why this current vlog is going to be more personal, less business related. This vlog is not about Studio 22 uh, or the amazing Sigma 18 to 35mm lens that I've filmed almost the entire clip on. It's just really about things that I enjoy, which is, uh, yeah, I guess, the, the, the filming, the, 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 the editing, the, the making, the producing, the creating of this uh, little clip that you're about to watch. Uh. So on the website they say the Elgin railway market is the brainchild of businessman Roger Orpen. Um, it also says that it's a combination of Art Deco and Victorian, uh, obviously with the major steampunk uh, uh, influences. Uh, I, I just think that the, the, the level of detail, the amount of work that's gone into the, the, into the structure of the building itself is amazing. I think he's done an exceptional job. So well done. Um, also very risky to, to build something that big so far out of out of the way um, it's brave well done to add to the uh, awesome uh, steampunk theme uh, Cirrus Rail has uh, a, a trip from Cape Town station in a steam train all the way to pretty much to the to the Elgin market you're a couple of meters away from the market uh, you get to spend a couple of hours there and then you trek back to Cape Town in a steam train I find the the selection of foods and uh, uh, goodies on sale I have some more authenticity than just all the other food markets that you go to there's sort of so much of, of a lot of things here the the, the selection is, is almost curated um, there's just a right amount of a, a selection of things it's, it's not too much of one thing that's the best way I can explain it you have to go you have to go
uh, to get there is really easy. Uh, everybody knows uh, the Peregrine uh, farm store. Uh, so if you're driving along the N2, as soon as you hit the Crabo area, the Elgin Valley, um, normally you have uh, the Peregrine farm store on the right. Uh, if you're leaving Cape Town, it's the first road to the left. And it's from there, it's, it's about a kilometer, maybe, maybe two at the most. Well, that's it. Uh, please uh, like this video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.